Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be doing the Crayola versus the Prismacolor pencils. I haven't used pencils in a while, so hopefully I still got it. So the first thing I want to do is to test these on different papers and see how they look. So we'll just compare the, the pigment of these. This is my mixed media paper, and then I have cardstock paper here. I just want to see how the textures vary from one another. So looking at the Crayola... I bought the 100 set. That's what they look like. They look so good. They were um, at Michael's for $23, but then I used a coupon and it was like $14, so. These, this is a lot of colors. Look how pretty these are. We got lots of shades. And let's see if they're gonna blend pretty well since they have so many different shades, so hopefully it shouldn't be too bad. Looking at my Prismacolor pencils, these are not new, so some of them have different sizes, but this is what they look like. I mostly use my Prismacolor pencils for like little accents at the end of the drawing or something. So let's just go ahead and look at the pigment of the pencils. Here's my cardstock paper, and then this is my mixed media paper with a little bit of texture on there. So I want to see which is, um, what's a better paper? kind of want to test out the red. That's like a pink color. Oh yeah, these seem pretty close. I mean, this one's a little darker. I'm just trying to match it now. Let's do the Crayola first. I'm going to go really heavy and then try lightening it up. So with the watercolor paper, there's a bit of texture in there, which is not bad. I think that's how light I can get it. I don't think I can get any lighter than that. So now, here, let's put this for Crayola. C for Crayola, and then the Prisma. It's way easier to layer these. That's what I'm noticing right now. Like, I didn't have to go back in over and over again. But it shows the same amount of texture as well. Honestly, they look pretty similar. This one was just a little bit easier. This one, I had to work on it a bit more. But they got the same job done. Now let's see how the cardstock paper does. So this one is the Crayola. Oh, it's getting way lighter on this one. So it's like smoother on this paper. I just don't like seeing that little, little harsh lines. Let me try and smooth it out a bit more. Now for the Prismacolor marker. Marker. <laughs> Prismacolor pencil. Wow. Okay, I'm not seeing these. See that line over there that I was making with the Prismacolor pencil? I'm not seeing that on here. So this is pretty good. It's way more easier to use as well. So that's the Prisma. I'm gonna go back in with the Crayola and see how dark I can get this. So let's take a look at this. So this is pretty much what it's looking like. There's a lot more texture on here. Maybe it's because of the color too. Okay, so it's a lot more vibrant on the smoother kind of paper compared to this. So I'm probably going to color on cardstock paper instead of watercolor paper. Okay, so I'm going to try and blend these two Crayola pencils on watercolor paper. So I'm going to start pretty dark and I'm going to start fading it out. And I'm going to flip my paper because I want to go this way. Okay, Crayola! What's this? Okay, let's mark this for Crayola. So I have these two colors for the Prisma color pencils. I start from dark to light. All right, so this is the Prisma. I honestly cannot tell a big difference between these, how they blend. I do like how this blend even like more than that, but I don't see a big difference between these. So that's the mixed media paper. Let's take a look at the car stock paper. So with this, I kind of see, it's kind of like melting into that. I didn't see that with this, but it's kind of like, ooh. Okay, I actually really like how this is blending on this paper. So this is what we got. 
So that's pretty much it for testing. So now we're just gonna have to see how they look on a drawing. I'm just gonna sharpen these because I'm gonna start with the Prismacolor pencils because I have a lot less of these than the Crayola. Hopefully the Crayola has the colors of these or at least similar to these. Just adding in that flat shading. Right now, I'm not adding a lot of pressure. So after I got the whole skin coated, I'm gonna go back in and add a bit more pressure. So I'm trying to do this really smoothly. So far, it's working out pretty well. I haven't used pencils in a while, so this feels very strange to me. Alright, so now it's time for the Crayola. I'm just gonna have to pick up the colors I need. Let's see, I got a lot of colors to choose from. Oh, this is actually looking really good. The brown is really working for this. I'm starting to notice the difference between these now like it's really hard to layer on top of a previous um, color that's already down I don't know it's making the paper a bit different I don't know what is this it's way harder for me to lay these colors on top of each other unless I have to like push in really hard and even then it still looks a little bit weird yeah, my hands are hurting way more with this one. Maybe it's because I already did the prism color one and my hands are already tired.
these are the final results. This one here is the Crayola pencils and this one here is the Prismacolor. So let's take a look at the Crayola pencils first. This is what it's looking like. And now here is the Prismacolor. I'm really bad at pencils. That's why they look so bad. Um, yeah, pencils are not my strongest uh, medium. So that is pretty much it. Let me know which one you think is better. Um, I think they're both pretty good. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye guys.